hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be talking about how you can deploy a web application on aws ec2 instance so the tech stack that we'll be using for this deployment will be java 8 that has to be installed so that you can create a spring boot application and you can create a war file from that spring boot application and tomcat server which we'll be using on ec2 instance for deployment so the steps that we'll be looking into today will be uh, first of all we'll be creating a war file file of the spring boot project and then we are going to create a new ec2 instance on aws console finally we'll be installing java and tomcat on ec2 instance also then we'll be giving the permissions to the user in tomcat to access and manage apps on the gui a graphic user interface of the tomcat and finally we are going to remove the default local host url and tomcat settings and we are going to select the war file and we are going to deploy it so these are some of the steps that we'll be looking today this is my github page so if you would like to go through it in order to understand the steps in a better way i'll leave the link in the description box so without any further ado let's get started with the steps so now i have taken a spring boot project and this spring boot project is a basic hello world application i have created a hello controller and uh, added two endpoints to it one is slash so on this endpoints this method will be called and on this endpoint add get mapping slash hello this particular method will be called next thing is you need to create a war file of this particular project so that you can deploy this war file in the tomcat on aws so for that make sure that your packaging over here is written as war so that the war file gets generated and in order to generate this war file what you have to do is you have to right click on this project then you will get an option run as and you have to select the option maven build and in this uh, maven build option you have to type clean install and finally you have to run it and once you execute it it will generate your dot uh, war file which can be deployed on tomcat on ec2 instance which we'll be using further so this is running this is doing uh, this is running the commands mv and clean install and it will generate the war file and one more thing if you are not able to do it from here you can also do it from the command line so you can go to properties you can go to this particular folder where this where this project is located and from the command line also you can run mv and clean install that thing can also be done so as you can see over here that the war file has been generated this is the war file that got generated and it is being stored in target folder so let's refresh this particular project and see that the file has been generated in the target folder so these are the files that got generated once we executed the mvn clean install command now we are in aws console and we will search for ec2 over here in order to create a new ec2 instance and finally we'll go to our ec2 screen we'll click on instances and we will click on launch instance and over here we will give the name of the instance that we want to create so let's call it in boot web app instance next uh, we'll leave the amazon linux aws let this be the ami that is being selected by default and the architecture is 64 bit and uh, it is of linux type and then t2 micro is the instance type that is being selected and it is free tier eligible so i'm not making any changes over there and then in key pair login we can select one of the key pairs which we have already generated earlier so i will select one of the key pairs over here then in network settings i won't make any changes then create a security group so instead of creating a new security group i can use an existing security group so let's say i'll be using an existing launch wizard one security group and then uh, let the configured storage which is mentioned as eight gigabytes so i think that is more than sufficient for us currently and uh, let's go to advanced details we are not going to make any changes let it be whatever is being selected as default and we can look into the summary over here on the right hand side and finally we will click on launch instance so all these services that i'm creating in today's uh, hands-on exercise is all included in the free tier so if you have taken free tier for one year 
all these services are being included ec2 instance services now let's look into the instance that got generated so this instance is still getting generated so the instance state is pending let's refresh it from here and wait for it to become running and once it starts executing we'll go to the command line and we will install java and tomcat okay let's wait for a minute to get it uh, get the instance state running okay so now our ec2 application is up and running uh, the ec2 server what we have to do is we have to connect with this particular application so if we click on connect we will select our ec2 instance and over here this button connect we'll click on this button connect it will take us to the ec2 instance connect and then we can start installing the updates that we want to do so the first thing that we want to uh, do is sudo yum update minus y so next thing that we're going to do is we are going to install java 1.0.8 open jdk so we will do that so we will say yum install and java dash 1.0.8.0 slash uh, dash open jdk and we will hit enter so it is saying you need root permission to perform this particular command so we will write sudo over here and then it will install java 8 on this particular uh, ec2 instance we'll press yes we'll say okay and then it will start downloading the packages and finally it will uh, install java 8 on this platform for us on this ec2 instance for us and once java 8 is being installed then we will go and install tomcat on this particular instance so that we can deploy our war file on that tomcat so this is still installing our java 8 and it's about to get installed in a second so our java 8 has been installed we can check it by using the command java minus version and we can see that java 8 has been installed now we will install tomcat on our ec2 instance so we will go to this particular website apache tomcat website and over here uh, in the core the second option is start.gz so we will right click on it and we will save the link as and finally we'll come to our ec2 instance we'll copy the link and we'll come to our ec2 instance and we will type wget space and the link the copied link will paste it over here finally we will press enter so with this we got apache tomcat and we are supposed to unzip it now so let's see that it has been present so we got the zip file over here and we have to unzip it and for unzipping it we are going to use the command uh, tar minus zvxf tar minus zvxf and then we are going to give the name of the file apache tomcat 9.0.73 tar dot gz and then we are going to hit enter so this will unzip the file and place the files over here finally we are going to do ls and we are going to go inside this folder apache tomcat we are again going to do ls and we'll see that all the folders are being present and then we will go to our bin directory now we are inside the bin directory and we'll see ls what all files are present inside the bin directory so we can see that startup.sh and shutdown.sh and all these files are present inside the bin directory so another thing which you have to keep in mind so once you are working on it is so the instances which you have created over here you have to check for the security group that you have added to these instances so we will go inside security and we will look into the security group and we will check for this particular inbound rule that has been set so the port 8080 it should be set the source should be set as 000 slash 00 so that it allows the internet to access uh, port 8080 and we are going to use port 8080 in order to host our tomcat application and in order to run our tomcat so let's run the tomcat server in order to see that it is working fine 
so once you have started your tomcat it says tomcat started now let's let's copy this particular ip address and see that if we are able to access our tomcat or not and we are going to copy this address ipv4 public address and over here e colon slash slash troll v colon 8080 should bring up the tomcat page since we have already started the tomcat so you can see that tomcat has come up over here so that means we have set up the tomcat on our ec2 instance and our tomcat is running fine so now the next thing that is remaining is we are going to host our application on this tomcat server now we saw that our tomcat is running fine so we have to make some changes in order to deploy our application so what we have to do is we have to go to tomcat users.xml file which is present in cd conf in conf folder so what we can do is we can shut down our tomcat as of now so let's shut down the tomcat for the time being and now we will go to conf folder cd dot dot ls so con folder is present inside apache tomcat we will go inside this particular folder and then uh, let's list down the files so what we have to do is we have to make changes to tomcat users.xml this file so we are going to do using the vi editor vi tomcat users.xml file and we are going to go in the insert mode so we'll press i and now finally we have to make the changes in this particular file so come down in this particular file and over here we have to define a role uh, which will be using a manager uh, ui on our tomcat okay so we will be uh, deleting certain roles since all the roles are not needed so let's delete one of the roles and we are going to give a username and password to the other roles So we are going to give the password over here in this particular line. So you can select any password. Let's say I give the password as root and let's say I give the username also as root and we are going to access the file that we are going to access the role and the role will be your manager dash ui role so we are going to make that changes over here on this line roles we are going to define as managers dash gui so this is the role that we are going to define okay and let's give the role name as manager gui over here as well okay and then we are going to save this particular file colon wq and then enter so this file has been saved let's see what is being saved in this file once changes are reflecting okay our changes are reflecting in this particular file so the next thing that we can do is we can go and uh, we can try running our application but one more change before this change we have to go to context xml and content docs xml and we have to make changes to our uh, web apps manager meta inf folder as well so let's go to that file and make the changes to that particular file now let's go to tomcat once again present working directory inside tomcat and we are going to make this changes cd dot dot so now we will be inside tomcat ls and we will be going inside web apps folder web apps then ls then we are going to go inside uh, apps. Then we are going to go inside manager folder manager so now we are inside uh, this folder manager folder we will go inside the meta inf folder we are going to make changes to context.xml so that our default localhost has been removed and the 
IP address that we are putting for our EC2 instance that is being used. So let's do VI and go inside context.xml and we are supposed to remove this particular line uh, which defines which defines for localhost. So this is the line that we are supposed to remove. Okay, and now you have to save this file. Once you save this file, you can again go to, you can again check that the changes are being made or not to this particular file. So you can see that that file, that line has been removed from this file. Again, we will go back to our uh, Apache Tomcat and And then we are going to start our server so we are inside our tomcat directory and finally we are going to go inside the bin folder once we are inside the bin folder we are going to start our apache tomcat so dot slash startup dot sh so this will start our tomcat and we will refresh this particular page for our changes to be reflected and then we are going to go to manager app over here and once we are in manager app, it is asking for the username and password that we entered in our file. And finally, we are going to give the username and password. So once you are logged in, you can see that you will be able to view this particular page. And on this page, which is Tomcat Web Application Manager page, we are going to choose a file, which is our uh, web.xml file. And finally, we are going to host the word that we have generated for, for our Spring Boot application on Tomcat. So now what we are going to do is we are going to deploy our file and we are going to select the war file that we created from the Spring Boot application. So once we select the war file, it will appear over here and we will click on this deploy button. Okay, and it is getting deployed on the Tomcat. So you will see this in the list of applications and when you once you see this you can click on this button and you can see that it displays the message greetings from spring boot so that means our application has been deployed we also used one more endpoint so we can try using that endpoint also slash hello so you can see it prints hello from spring boot so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you in guiding you through the steps on how to deploy the spring boot application on tomcat in your ec2 instance which is amazing i feel and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorial like this one thank you Bye bye